Okay, welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining us today. My name is Tim Page, coming at you from promo.com. I'm going to be your host today, and I think it's about time we get started. It's the top of the hour. You're piling in. The room is getting jam-packed. So thank you so much for being here today. Again, my name is Tim Page. I am your host presenting this training from promo.com. This is called How to Create the Perfect Video for Social Media Marketing. And that's what we're going to be spending our time talking about today. Just a quick bit of housekeeping. So one, if you have questions, you don't need to wait until the end. We are going to have a lot of time for Q&A at the end, but don't feel the need to wait until the very end. Get your questions in the question, uh, the chat box over there or the questions box. And we've got some folks from our team, including Toba and a few others who are in the chat answering your questions as we go live. I won't be able to see your questions until the very end uh, because I am showing my screen and I've got my slide uh, slideshow going on here. But again, get your questions in as we go and we'll be happy to uh, get them answered. So today, this is what it's all about. Today, it's all about creating video ads for all the different social channels. We're talking best practices on how to create a video from scratch. So if you are like me and creating video is something that you just don't have the passion for or the tech knowledge or any of that kind of stuff, this is going to be really helpful for you. We're also going to talk about how to actually get the video to be as, as awesome as it could be. So goal setting and messaging to choosing the right footage and how to pick the right text and all of that. And uh, I'll be showing you how to do all that even if you don't have the tech ability or how to edit videos or how to use the, the equipment and all that kind of stuff. Now, the goal today is, is pretty simple and straightforward. The goal is for you to be able to create winning videos that accomplish your goals and how to make sure that they're tailor-made for the specific requirements needed for the success on different social media channels so that if you have a channel you want to market to, you want to make sure the video is right for that. And we're going to go through that. And by the end of this webinar, you will have the knowledge, direction, and tools to grow your business with video marketing, whether it's you're trying to uh, grow your audience or get more sales or whatever those goals are. And we'll even talk about how to decide what your goal for each video should be. Now, one thing I guess it's important to go over is, you know, who are we and why should you even bother listening to us, right? We're presenting all this stuff, but do we know our stuff? Well, I think we do. So promo.com is a visual content platform that enables the creation of standout video for ads, socials, your website, your blog, and more. So we are an industry leader and pioneer in effortless video creation for small business. So the great thing about promo.com is if you, like me, just don't have the know-how or don't have the time or would rather just make sure your video is going to do its job as quickly as possible in an easy, affordable, and simple way, promo is the way to go. Promo in, Promo.com includes the footage, including over 15 million video clips and photos, the messaging already written out for you, pre-edited music, and a simple-to-use editor, not to mention lots of free resources and trainings like this webinar to help you nail your marketing strategy. So we're really excited uh, to be here, and we know a thing or two about video. We've uh, been a part of a lot of people's success in video. So that's what we're excited about. All right, so why video in the first place? And then why am I so excited about Facebook? Well, let's talk first about video. So you've likely noticed that lots of large brands are using video, but it's not just large brands with large budgets. In fact, small and mid-sized businesses are finding that video is vital to their success. Again, all types of companies, whether you're a one-person show or you've got a huge team, it doesn't matter. Savvy marketers are treating videos as a core component of their marketing plan, not an add-on, and you should be doing that as well. So a couple of stats for your consideration. So first off, video content generates on average 1,200% more shares than other social content. If you want to get your stuff out there and you want to get that attention, video is the way to go. Uh, on top of that, branded video boosts purchase intent by up to 97%. And businesses that use video marketing record a 49% faster year-over-year -year revenue growth. So if you're wondering, video sounds great, you know, it gets that attention, gets shared. Is it only for that? No. Video can and does increase the actual purchases and increase your revenue. So video is something you don't want to ignore. 
uh, not only that, but viewers spend five times longer looking at your video than at a static image. So that extra time gives you a better opportunity to sell your product, your company, or your brand. Now, HubSpot tells us video ads receive 20% more clicks than images. Think about what you could do with all that extra traffic. 87% of consumers would like to see more videos from brands. So if we're wondering what kind of marketing can we be doing that people actually want to see? Well, it's video. Consumers want to see more. 8 billion videos are viewed on Facebook every day. So let's get you into the game. And before we do that, I think a little bit of uh, why so many folks maybe have been hesitating. Like maybe you've been stuck and you haven't started doing video marketing yet for a few different reasons. So if you find that video is intimidating, these are a lot of the reasons. So one, videos can be expensive, right? The cost of creating a video can be thousands or more. The great thing about promo.com with what we're going to show you today is you can create an unlimited amount of videos starting at only $39 a month. Now, again, everything we're showing you today, you can absolutely do with or without promo.com, but I'm kind of showing you here what it requires if you don't have promo.com and what happens if you do. So the next thing is, you know, the ability to take a great video and then edit that video, produce everything together to make sure the audio sounds great requires a lot of specialized skills unless you're using promo.com because we've got pre-recorded video and music. You don't have to do any of that. Then there's all the equipment, learning how to use everything right, making sure everything is lit properly, having all the proper software and spending the money on that, all the microphones, everything like that. Again, all of that is included in a single web application with promo.com. And then finally, the time. So maybe some of you are like, that's fine, I'll pay the thousands of dollars, but maybe your business really doesn't have the time, right? You've got to deal with scheduling the shoot, getting the footage, editing, and all those revisions. It can take months to create a high quality video, but with promo.com, it can be just minutes. All right, so with video, we've got to talk about this. Have you ever bought anything after watching a Facebook video? If you're like most folks, you have, right? I have many, many times. In fact, that just happened to me. Uh, I got I got it. It just it sucked me right in and ended up buying something directly from a Facebook video. And it made me think, actually, of this training that we're doing. Facebook video is effective uh, for sales, for sharing, and for a lot of other things. But it can also be ineffective if it's done the wrong way. So how should you not start your video marketing? I'm going to share with you an all too common story about a small business that tried to do video marketing the wrong way. And we're going to call it the Frankenstein video. So what they did is they got really excited and they just jumped straight into the creative process. They said, we're going to do a video. So they started doing it. They started recording all this footage and trying to find this stuff and trying to cram it all together. Next thing they knew, they were neck deep in half finished videos, sifting through footage without a finished video in sight. So you had a bunch of people on the team who weren't happy. The videos didn't make any sense. And the ones that they actually did manage to finish, finish did not create the type of success they envisioned. So what happens when you start creating a video without a specific goal in mind, which was their big problem? Well, that video becomes part viral meme and part sales pitch, which makes it 100% ineffective. So you've got all these different parts like this. You piece them together like Frankenstein, and you end up with an awkward, disjointed, and frankly, ugly video. Sorry, Frankie. Instead, you want to start with a video strategy. Now, this is the stuff right here. This is the, the foundation that we're going to lay for your video. So what they should have done was start with a video strategy, because when you have a strategy in place, you know exactly what type of footage you need, you know the messaging points required, so it's not hard to write the messaging. And you know how the video is going to be promoted. Having all of this stuff organized into a checklist of items, which is I'm going to share with you the checklist in a bit here, is going to allow you to focus more on creativity and originality in your video. So long as you check off every item in your strategy, you can do whatever you need to with your video. It can be as fun or as crazy as you want as long as you follow this checklist. So feel free to write this down so that you can follow this when you go to create your next video and uh, especially your strategy. So the first thing is the goal. What do you want to accomplish? The more specific you can be, the better. So for example, it's easy enough to just say, I wanna sell stuff. But sell stuff is not gonna help you too much, right? Instead, what about drive traffic to a checkout page and 
achieve a 10% conversion rate, right? That's a much better goal. So get specific. Next, we've got the audience. Who do you want to reach? Understanding your audience is key to crafting messaging that resonates. It's great to start with demographics, but I'd also encourage you to think about the interests and behaviors of your audience. We'll dive deeper into that in a little bit here. Okay, but think about who you're targeting. Next, we've got message. So what do you even want to say? Each video should have a clear, singular message. Too many folks try to create a video that tries to say too many different things. No, the hook, the core content, and the call to action for your video all need to align around your brand message. All right, next, the format. So what kind of video are you going to create? Are you looking to educate or entertain? with your video. Now, if you make a product explainer video, that's going to look different than a branding and awareness video. So decide the format for your video before you begin. What about the creative? What's the video going to look and sound like? Now, you can't figure this out until you know your audience and your message. So you've got to follow along the checklist to get here. All right. But once you know your audience and your message, decide upon the tone and the feeling of your video. Do you want people to be excited? Well, then you want to add bright colors and upbeat music, right? Think about those things. And then we've got promotion. So how will you get the video in front of the right people? And this is the last step in building out your video strategy. Think about where it's going to be published and where it's going to be seen. So for example, if you're going to use Facebook or Instagram ads, more than 80% of your audience is going to see the video on their phones. And that can play a role in how you produce your video. Don't worry, we're going to talk more about all that. If you're like, wait a minute, how do I know what's right? We're going to talk about formatting for specific social media later in the webinar. But just keep in mind, your video marketing strategy should include a variety of videos that help you accomplish multiple goals over time. So yes, you're going to want to do social reach. You're going to want to generate brand awareness. You're going to want to drive sales and all those things. And each individual thing is its own video and might even be more than one video. So keep that in mind with each goal in your strategy, you're going to want to have a different video to do that one step. All right. So let's go a little bit deeper into some of these checklist items. I'm going to take a quick drink here. We've got a lot of talking going on. So the first is, uh, how do we decide on our video goal? It's easy. What I'm going to do to make your life this much easier is if you're thinking, okay, I got to start with a goal, but what do I do with my video? I'm going to give you some of the most common advertising goals. And you can pick one and say, okay, this is the video I'm going to focus on. And one thing that might make this even more powerful for you, this training, is actually think about a specific video and go through this process with us here live on this training. Later in the, the training, I'm actually going to build a video with you. So we'll actually create a video live. But as we're doing that, you can be thinking about what your video is going to be. So the first goal can be social engagement, right? Boost your social following, maintain engagement with your existing customer or follower base, right? It's all about engagement. Brand awareness, generate interest and awareness for your product, service, or brand. That one's especially powerful if you uh, have kind of a newer product or uh, maybe you don't already have a built-in audience. Event promotion. So drive awareness or signups for a specific event. That can be you've got a big sale coming up. There's a holiday uh, or literal event. Uh, recruitment. So if you're growing your company, you're looking for some really fantastic folks to join your team. You can use this to attract top talent and showcase your culture, your benefits, and the opportunities that you have. And then the last one, which is usually the first thing people think of, and that's direct sales or conversions, right? Increase sales or conversions attributed to social media marketing. Again, if you're looking at this and you're saying, all of those are my goals or three of those are my goals or whatever, that's fine. You just know that you need that many videos at minimum. All right, so we've talked about our goals. Let's define our audience. So it's okay to have more than one audience, by the way, but you wanna target an individual video to an individual audience. So the first thing you're going to want to know are the demographics of your audience. So the basic stuff like age, gender, location, and occupation. But you're going to want to go further than that. You're going to want to know their interests and behaviors. It can be incredibly powerful to align your audience around a topic. So, for example, think about uh, video gaming, right? Even without demographics, if you are targeting video gamers, you know that a lot of the times these folks are online in the evenings, they're likely tech savvy, and they speak a specific language about their favorite games and characters. 
So when you understand that, it makes it that much easier to target. Behavior is also important. So think about advertising during the holidays, right? If we know a person is likely buying whatever you're selling as a gift, well, your messaging is going to be different. So think about what your target audience is doing before, during, and after using your product or service. Okay, so now we know who we're targeting, we can craft our message. Crafting the perfect message is actually really easy. Just follow these two steps. One, think about what do you need to say to your audience in order to accomplish the objective that you set up for the video. And two, think about what your audience wants to hear. And what you do is answer those questions independently first. So what is it, what do I need to say to accomplish my goal? Answer that question. Then think about what is it that your audience wants to hear and answer that question. And then when you can combine those things together into a single crystal clear message, you now have exactly what you need to say. Just remember, if you don't develop a clear message, your video is going to be a disjointed mess like our Frankenstein example from earlier. So be clear. Okay, so what I want you to do is just take a quick second and think about your current advertising objectives. If you're a new product or service, you might want to write down raising awareness. If you've already got a lot of audience, uh, you've already got a, a product and traffic and sales, then maybe you want to focus on driving more sales directly. So think about that now. Make sure you take a second to write that down. And as you're following along, we're going to keep those objectives in mind. All right. Now, let's talk about actually creating the videos. And we're going to talk about the basics first, and we'll go in a little bit more detail. But we've got our messaging clear. We know what we want. We know who we're targeting. That is going to allow us to get creative. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you our system to creating good marketing videos. And it's really simple. Uh, it's just a few things. We're going to a couple of slides here where I can walk you through the process to create a great video. So first thing to know is that most viewers decide within the first three seconds if they're going to keep watching your video. So I'd encourage you to hook them with something funny, interesting, or unexpected right off the bat. So we got to start with that hook. Next, create bite-sized videos that will whet their appetite and keep them coming back. So for Facebook ads, you want it to be 60 seconds or under, okay? Short videos, move them along your process, move them along the buyer's journey. Before committing to watching, viewers are going to read your title and description, so make sure that you are selling your video in the title and description. It's going to help them understand what the video is about, and hey, it's good for SEO, which is never a bad thing. Make sure your content speaks directly to your audience. We know who they are. Let's focus on them. Let's talk about them. We don't need to worry about us. We need to worry about what their problem is. Okay? Next, stay away from negative messaging. It's so tempting to focus on negative, 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 but we've got enough of that in our social media now, right? Instead, focus on staying positive. Say it with a smile. Focus on solutions to problems instead of the problems themselves. Next, understand that a lot of people are going to be watching your videos either at work or you know on public transit. They're not going to have the sound on. So make sure that you have the subtitles or captions enabled. And one of the biggest mistakes that people make when they're creating their video is they forget the call to action, right? Make sure you're including a call to action in the middle or at the end of your video. And the reason why we want to do this is twofold. One, obviously, we have an objective and we want to accomplish it. But two, there's nothing more. Okay, there's probably more frustrating things. But one of the most frustrating things in the world is seeing a really intriguing video that has us interested in whatever the video is talking about and then not knowing what to do next. But instead, if the video said text blah, blah, blah to this phone number or click here to subscribe or click here to check out you know, sizes or whatever, then we know what we need to do next. So do your audience the service of telling them what to do next. And in the meantime, you're accomplishing your goal. Next, understand that the majority of Facebook viewers and Instagram viewers are browsing on their phone, so make sure your video displays perfectly on mobile devices as well. Mobile first. Make sure your brand is present, so you want to have your brand name, your logo, and your website. Tap into the human element of your content to maximize real impact. It's fine if you're a realtor or a real estate agent to show a picture of a beautiful house, 
it's better to show a picture of a family who just moved into their first house, or I'm sorry, show a video rather of a family that just moved into their first house and how excited they are and they're hugging. You get that emotion, it connects, and then people are really excited. Okay? Use music and other effects to keep the energy and engagement high. Get that pace up, get to your point, let's go. Use cuts, transitions, and animations to keep viewers watching and make the video feel seamless and engaging. And then make sure that you cut dead time. If there's long pauses or stutters or repetitive content, let's get that out of there to make sure that the video flows. All right, so now we've got the basics. We've got our system. Now it's time to talk about some of the more technical stuff. And don't worry. If you are a little bit concerned about the tech stuff, I'm going to make it really easy for you. All right, so first off, make sure that you got great video footage. There's no excuse now for having yucky, grainy, poor quality footage, okay? Get some high quality, full HD, 1080p video. Avoid shaky or choppy video. Make sure the audio sounds great for those people that are gonna turn the sound on. The second thing, provide time to read. Understand that the average person reads around two to four words per second. So we can use that to calculate how long we should leave the text on the screen. Don't have the words pop up and pop down because people are never going to see it. They need to have the time to read. Don't make it more than five words per second, okay? And then finally, mind your screen space. You've got a great video or image in that video, and there's something funny going on that's supposed to capture people's attention. Don't put your caption on, on somebody's face where they're not going to be able to see it, right? Keep your text off of the important uh, images. All right. So I want to show you a really great example. I love this video. And in this uh, video, we're going to see that this really simple production uh, is really effective for capturing people's attention. So we're going to go there. Let's check it out. Okay. Now I know you can't, you probably can't hear the audio going on, unfortunately, um, because I'm screen sharing. But there's some great music going on in the background there. So I'm sorry that you can't hear the audio. But you can see, again, we'll watch, we can watch that one more time here. You can see really engaging, really exciting, kind of uh, loud and attention grabbing, but nice and clear, easy to read, call to action. That's the kind of thing that we are looking for. All right, so we'll go back here. All right. So uh, let's talk a little bit more about the production. So first off, uh, make sure that your text is legible, okay? White text is great on darker backgrounds, but if the background is lighter colored, consider black or dark gray text, all right? Next, mix up the video lengths and content, but try to define a color palette and a small collection of fonts that you'll use throughout your video marketing. This is gonna allow all of your marketing to have a consistent theme, even if it's all kind of different stuff and different videos, as long as it, it stays consistent with your brand, it'll be great. Next, be sure that your clips are consistent in both quality and style. Have those smooth edits, those smooth transitions. You can cover up minor mistakes and inconsistencies with good editing, animations, and transitions. And then align your music with the primary emotion of your video. Now, if, you're, if you are not a music person and you're thinking, I don't know what to do with music, I don't know how to pick the right music for the mood, kind of good default is to always default to upbeat music. Have something that gets people to tap their feet, okay? We want those good feelings. I want to show you another great example of a video. This, I love this one. This really gets, uh, gets attention. So we're going to jump to this uh, video and we'll watch this. Watch how this video grabs attention with unique and irreverent imagery. It's so cute. Watch this. <laughs> right? And you can imagine using that for your business uh, as well. I love it. All right. So let's go back to the uh, full screen here. Okay, so my question to you is after, we've still got a ton to go, but after talking about what we've talked about today, what's stopping you from creating video right now? Our team is in there. Go in the chat and actually let us know. They're gonna be in there and see if maybe they can help you overcome those hurdles. We've got some more to talk about. Uh, but again, is it lack of equipment? Is it the lack of video editing expertise? Is it that you don't like being on camera? Let us know what's stopping you. We wanna see if we can help you uh, get to the video. 
So as you're doing that, we're going to move on. And I'm really excited about this. Uh, I'm excited about everything. I know I say that every slide, but it, it, I just, I love this topic so much. But now what I want to do is I want to talk about each social platform. So once you've got that great video, we want to make sure that it's going to work for the platform of your choice. We want to optimize that video for the platform. So each major social platform, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn, have different requirements. You need to make sure that you're tailoring your videos for each platform to maximize your success. We've got millions of videos popping up on social feeds every day, so it can be easy to get lost in the noise. I want to help you design yours so that it doesn't. When a consumer sees a video that's sloppily executed or doesn't fit in, all they do is scroll right past it. So one suggestion is to upload your video natively to the platform. Instead of, for example, uploading to YouTube and then linking to a YouTube video on your Facebook account, instead of doing that, upload it natively to Facebook. That can help you get into the suggested content algorithm that appears after another video ends. I think you saw that uh, just a couple of minutes ago when I showed you a video that was posted on our Facebook. Uh, it went right to the next suggested video. Okay. Uh, the most important place to advertise video is where your audience hangs out. But if you don't use the platform and you don't understand the nuances, you might have trouble using it to its full potential. So, for example, if you don't use Facebook personally, but you're advertising videos there, make sure you're watching for things like direct messages and comments on your video ads. Having those conversations with your potential customers, that's a great way to convert audience to buy, uh, your audience to buyers and to get valuable feedback. I can't tell you how many times I've seen an ad for a product I was interested in, and I actually checked out the comments for reviews and to see how that brand responded to either positive or negative feedback. I wanted to see what people were saying about that product, and then how does the company handle that? Because how they handle that is how they're going to handle working with me. And so, again, you want to make sure that you're in there uh, responding to that kind of stuff. So let's first start with Facebook videos. So the style and tone for Facebook can be a range of entertainment, it can be educational, and honestly, even business content. Facebook has the largest user base of all the social networks, so you can find almost any audience that you're looking for. It's more suited typically for consumer products and services, but there's definitely some B2B content on Facebook as well, so don't be afraid to advertise B2B content there. Facebook has 2.4 billion monthly active users. So you should definitely have Facebook as part of your video marketing strategy, regardless of who you're targeting. So here are the tech specs for Facebook. Uh, so square video should be 600 by 600 pixels, a one-to-one -one aspect ratio, and no longer than 240 minutes. But remember, we're suggesting 60 seconds or shorter. If you're going to do a horizontal video, it's going to be 600 by 315 with a 1.9 to 1 aspect ratio. And then if you're going to do vertical video, 600 by 750 with a 4 to 5 aspect ratio. Uh, most file formats will work, but a, an MP4 is recommended. And the maximum file size is 4 gigabytes, but we are definitely not going to have a 4 gigabyte video. All right, let's talk about Instagram. So Instagram is a little bit different than Facebook. So the style and tone of Instagram should be a mix of fun, lighthearted content and promotional content. Similar to Facebook, Instagram has a huge user base. It does skew a little bit younger, though, so keep that in mind. Instagram is a fantastic channel for product discovery, and most e-commerce brands have a robust presence on Instagram. So if you have a product brand... Instagram is an absolute must. In fact, Instagram has a really high conversion rate to actual sales, okay? Uh, with over a billion monthly active users, again, you can reach your target audience on Instagram. Once again, the tech specs, uh, 600 by 600 for square video with a 60 second max. So it's a little different on Instagram. You're looking at a shorter video, which is great because we don't want to go beyond that anyway. For horizontal, it's 600 by 315 with a 1.9 to 1 aspect ratio. And vertical video is 600 by 750 with a 4 to 5 aspect ratio. They do, they will take MP4 or .mov, and uh, they recommend under 50 megabytes. So that's, we're going to be there anyway with those nice short videos. All right, let's talk about Twitter. So with Twitter, Twitter is casual but purposeful, right? It's short content. 
Twitter does not have as large of an active user base as Facebook or Instagram with only 321 million active monthly users, but that's still a sizable number. But it does have passionate fans that you can reach with video content. People that are on Twitter that love Twitter, love Twitter. So it's a good place for live content from events to breaking news. And a lot of people in the communication industry frequent the platform. So tech specs for Twitter are a little different. 600 by 600 for square video, it's the same. Uh, but horizontal video should be 1280 by 720 with a 16 to 9 aspect ratio and a 2 minute 20 second max. Uh, same file types, MP4 and MOV. And the max file size for Twitter is 4 gigabytes. Now let's talk about LinkedIn. So LinkedIn, you know, everybody knows LinkedIn as the, the business site, right? So we're talking professional, educational, or informational. Consider why somebody is there, right? They're there for work-related activity, job hunting, recruitment, professional development, and it's a growing user base. Uh, there's over 260 million monthly active users. So it's continuing to grow and it's continuing to be effective for marketers. As far as the specs, for horizontal video, that's what we're going to use for LinkedIn, 1440 by 1080 with a one-to-one -one aspect ratio and a 30-minute max, but we're going to suggest 15 seconds. These people are busy. We got to get their attention and get out, okay? So let us know in the chat, which social platform do you spend the most time on? And on top of that, what about your audience? Where's your audience hanging out? And this is going to help you decide uh, what you're going to do with your marketing and what you're going to do with your video. All right, let's make a video for Facebook. We've covered a lot so far, how to create a video strategy, how to define your audience and craft your message, how to produce great videos. And seriously, congratulations to you for hanging out uh, and getting this far because we've given you a lot of stuff. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through the process of making a video live right here on this webinar. But first, we're gonna talk a little bit more about Facebook and uh, use Facebook as the platform of choice. We're going way beyond just video theory here. We're gonna give you an actionable plan to start making your own marketing videos. So just a refresher, let's talk about what makes the perfect video for Facebook. So we want square video for news feeds, vertical video for stories, Okay, so square for newsfeed, vertical for stories. We want to use captions with short, clear sentences. Want to make sure we've got music and sound effects or either one, one or the other, but make sure the video works without sound. We got to have those captions. Uh, I would encourage you to consider using ready-made video templates that are formatted for Facebook. We, of course, have those inside of promo.com. We'll show you how to use them. And then use a call to action in the middle and or the end. I know I said it before, I'm saying it again, it is critical, okay? So go ahead and write this down. This is your official Facebook video checklist. Videos are supposed to be creative and fun. This is gonna make sure that the video we're about to make will cover all of our marketing needs, okay? So we're gonna run through this checklist and make sure that we hit every best practice. So make sure the video has a defined goal, make sure it has a clear message. Get a hook within the first three seconds. Make sure the color and theme of the footage work together. We're going to use no more than two fonts so that it's consistent. We want to include captions or text. We want to make sure that those captions and text don't block key footage. Make the text visible and legible. Make sure that the music fits the style and tone of the video. We want to have our transitions and animations be engaging. Have a clear call to action in the middle and or at the end. And uh, make sure that our video length is less than 240 minutes. We want 30 to 60 seconds at most. In fact, we might even go a little shorter than that for our video. Make sure our resolution is 1080p or full HD. And then the file size needs to be less than four gigs. So we'll make sure that all of that in your next video that you go to create, make sure that you follow that checklist. All right. And what I want you to do now, and then we're going to actually create a video. What I want you to do is think about the first video that you're going to make for Facebook. And as I go through in the next minute or so, as I go through and I actually create this video live here with you, I want you to think about how you could apply this to your company and how you can actually use this video to market on Facebook. All right? So 
Let's do this. Let's make a video together. Let's not talk about it anymore. Let's get in there and use promo.com, our platform, to create the perfect videos for Facebook. Now, when you get in here, there are a few different ways that you can go about making your video. The first one is you can come down and you're going to start with the footage, right? So if we've already got our strategy in mind, we've got our goal, we've got our messaging, we know what we want to do, we need to find the perfect footage, you can come down here and browse the millions, over 15 million different video clips that we have. So you can browse them like this and you can get a little preview by hovering your mouse over them. Uh, or you can search. So for example, you could search for that you wanted to search for and find the right video. And you can see these are really high quality video clips. We'll preview this one really quick so you can see what this clip looks like. All right, so we've got these great videos. But what I like to do is instead of starting from scratch, because I'm not a video guy, I'm not a go out and create a video and come up with all the creative stuff. Our team, however, we've got some of the most incredible creative video creators and designers in the world, some of the best copywriters in the world, and they go through every single day and regularly create brand new templates that are all laid out with the, the video clips, the captions, and the music ready to go for you. All you need to do is go in and tweak it for your own uh, specific goal. And so we call these templates. So we've got all these different templates in here. So for example, if we wanted to, you know, do this play hard one, there's an example of some people having fun, jumping around, right? So let's preview this. I just want to show you what it looks like. All right, so we'll go to square. You've worked hard. It's time to play hard. Making a splash. Great footage, captions don't block anything. Looking for a house with a pool, visit our open house on Labor Day, right? So that is, it's all set for you and you can go in and customize it uh, for your own. So what I would do is instead of searching for something like home, I wanna think, what what do I want somebody to feel like? If I Let's pretend I'm a real estate agent, all right? So we'll pretend that you're a real estate agent and you want to use uh, a video to get people to reach out to you. So... What do I want somebody to feel like when they work with me? I want them to dance. I want them to be so happy that they're dancing. So I'm going to search for dancing. All right. So we've got some uh, different stuff, right? We've got people dancing. None of these really seem to make sense. What about this one? Oh, there we go. They're dancing around, having a good time. All right. So this is the video we're going to use. But before I get into this video, there's one feature that I, I have to show you because I'm really excited about it. Let's say that you know that, okay, great. I've got my one marketing video out there, but I want to know, you know, what's the next video, right? What are some ideas for ways that I can promote my business? Like I can't just do, hey, contact me, contact me, right? I need to come up with some great ideas. Well, we've come up with something to help you out with that. We've got something called our calendar. And when you come to our content calendar, you can see that for e every single day, we release a brand new video template based on some kind of a special event. So we've got, you know, hashtag video game day. So we've got a video for that. We've got 9-11 Remembrance Day, Alpaca Day. Here's a great example. If you're struggling right now to come up with your next marketing video, Halloween is right around the corner. We've got a video for Friday the 13th. And by the way, we've been doing this for a couple of years. So you can go back years and check out all those different templates that you want to grab. But let's say that you wanted to do a video to promote your company for Halloween. Well, we'll click on get this video. Here's uh, an example of this specific template that we created. Right, a little spooky, let's be honest. Friday the 13th is still better than Monday though, whatever. Right, whatever the logo is. So for example, if you were a real estate agent, we could say something like uh, house hunting is scary. And then the next one could be, but it doesn't have to be when you work with us right? Or we'll make it less scary or something. And then your logo, uh, something like that. All right. So just as an example, now feel free to obviously make that more creative, but uh, that's just an example of how you can use our calendar. So we do have a new video every single day that you can use for your templates. So I'm going to go back. Let's go back to that, uh, that dancing video. Okay. So is this the dancing one? Yeah, that's the dancing one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on customize. And by the way, this video is 13 seconds. It tells you in the bottom right-hand corner how long the actual video is. Now, you can add to it, but that's where it starts. 
So the first thing to note is you can come over here and you can pick if you want wide, square, or vertical. All right. Uh, I'm going to stick with, nah, you know what? I'll go with wide for this one. Why not? So we'll change it. All right. Now down here, this is the actual uh, video that we're going to create together. So we've got these three different clips, right, that we can use. And you can make each clip longer or shorter. So if we wanted to do extend it, we can do that. Okay. We can uh, set up a fade for the transitions. We can do that. Okay. And I could even move that in there a little bit. All right. Up here, we have the captions. So this first caption, that moment you realize you are home. And then here we've got the outro where you would upload your logo. I've already uploaded an example uh, logo here and then the call to action, right? And what I'm going to do, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and customize this caption. So instead of that moment, you realize, let's change it to why are they dancing? All right? A little bit of intrigue, hook them. So why are these people dancing? And then we're going to do they my computer's freezing up here. They realize they've realized their home, right? They've realized their home. And let's say I didn't want this textile. Let's say I wanted to change it up a little bit. I didn't want it to be this diagonal thing. I wanted it to maybe crisscross instead. Or what about something like this? All right. Or a pop out. Got all these different textiles that you can use. Okay. So we can pick from all these different ones. Uh, I actually really like the ribbon one, so I'm going to stick with the ribbon one here. You can also change the font, all right? So we can go in and we can, once we've changed our text, we can change the font. Uh, if you have a custom font for your company, you can upload your own custom font. You can change the colors for both the text and the background. You can change the alignment uh, and all that. So uh, we have the ability to really customize this however we want. Now, let's say we've started here, right? And uh, I want to go in and change the call to action, uh, and I could say, you know, um, I'll change this text and I could say, uh, contact us to find your home, right? And then we've got our call to action. So we could do something like that. Now, let's say we wanted to add some more. We weren't done, right? We wanted our video to be longer. We can go over to the media here and go to our library. And again, we can search through all those video clips. Remember all those video clips that we have over 15 million different clips. Let's say uh, I like this one because there's some more dancing, right? Uh, I could use that clip and it will add it right to the video. All right, you try to do this with a video uh, editing software thing. This is something that's just not easy. But again, we made it super easy. Now I'm going to get rid of that clip because I don't need it there. All right. So boom, clip's gone. All right. Now, the next thing we can do is let's say instead of adding a video clip, let's say you wanted to do images. Well, we've got photos that you can add. So if you wanted to take a second to overlay uh, photos, you could do that. If you wanted to upload your own photo, you know, maybe show off a house or put a picture of you somewhere since you're a real estate agent, you could do that. All right, so we've got our video. Next thing we need is the music. Now you can upload your own music, but we've got a beautiful music library of all licensed songs that you can pick by genre, mood, tempo, or instrument. All right, so you can go through here and you, you aren't able to hear this, but I think we're going to get some links to some videos there in the chat for you so you can check them out and hear. This is really high quality, awesome music. I'm going to go with the one that came right with this template because again, I like to keep it super easy. All right, so we've got our video. Our video is ready to go. Let's go ahead and preview it. So all through this time, I've been actually walking you through what I'm doing. And it still only took us just a couple of minutes to create this incredible video. And now you can see here it is. Look at this. Full HD follows our uh, kind of checklist. Here we go. We've got our call to action right at the end. Looks fantastic. And what I can do at this point is if I'm, I decide I want to change it, I can go back to the editor and customize it. But let's say before I go and start promoting this video, let's say I want to send it to some members of my team to get their feedback, or maybe I want to share it on social media. 
so my audience can tell me what they think before I start to really promote it. You can share a link to this preview page where people can see it. So again, you can share it uh, by copying a link or sending an email or ver via these uh, various social platforms um, and, and do it that way. But I think I'm done. I really like this video. I feel good about it. So I'm going to go to publish it. We'll continue. And it's going to actually put the video together for us, our final video. And then when we're ready to publish, we've got a few different things that we can do. So first off, we have uh, we already have our horizontal. If we want a square version, hey, that's free. We can do that. A vertical version, it'll create it for us absolutely free, no problem. We can download in full HD and publish it that way. Or we can actually link directly to the various social channels. So you can connect your Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, Wistia, or HubSpot accounts and upload directly to those platforms, saving you another step so that Again, you've got these beautiful videos. You upload them right there, and you are ready to promote straight from there. So that's all it took. Don't worry about that. Uh, that's all it took. We are set to go. We've got our video. We're done. Okay? So here's my question for you after seeing all of that. What feature are you most interested in using for your promo.com video? What are you most excited about? Let us know in the chat. We'd love to know what you're most pumped about. If you think this is going to make your life that much easier. Again, the 15 million video clips in our library, uh, the video templates already produced, ready for you, that awesome music to energize your videos, or the extremely easy to use and very powerful video editor so you can create videos specifically for you. Thank you so, so much uh, for being here. Please feel free to continue asking questions, and uh, we will see you next time. Bye-bye.